Hello guys and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to downgrade the Shifu Pirates 2 Definitive Edition to any version. So in this video we will see two methods. We will see using uh, Derm tool, how to downgrade, and we will see uh, how to downgrade using a batch file. So let's start with the first method which is the easiest and the fastest. So I'm gonna interrupt this video because I forgot the requirements. Okay, if you go to the replace manager and scroll down to requirements click that and here we have the minimum is runtime.net runtime 6 or 7 or 8 so you can choose whatever you want and then we do need .NET framework 4.5 usually it comes with windows 10 and 11 that, that's it guys continue the video first of all you will have to go into uh, dorm let's let me let me show you so if you go here to this link Go to the releases and uh, always, always pick the, the last one. So we're gonna go with the last one here. This is the last one. You download the zip file. It's actually in the installer. I have it already in, in here in this uh, folder. And you would want to double click that and install. You can keep the shortcut if you want. And uh, yeah, let's launch. It's important to launch. If we don't launch, the app will not register itself in Windows, and you will see why. Now that the app has registered and launched, we can just close, and now the charm will, will start here. Go to uh, ageofnotes.com and click the derm tool bu button here, or you can just do slash derm. And this should take you to this page, and within this page, we can actually select any patch we want to downgrade. Isn't that amazing? So uh, I'm just gonna go with the first one and click run. Now you, you can see here open with the e replace manager, which is term. Just gonna click OK. Yes. And notice we have we are faced with a login screen. This is for Steam. Uh, it's important to enter your login Steam here to uh, access the depots and download them. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So. So here, I, I prefer that uh, you, you guys save the session, if you want, if you don't want, it's up to you. But I'm just gonna go with save and I you will see why, you will see why I'm saving. And here, usually if it's my first time, it's gonna ask for a, a Steam Guard code, but since I have already verified, it's not gonna ask me again. That's one of the advantages of using DERM. It won't ask you mul multiple times. As in the se second method, which we will be seeing, and yeah, just wait for this uh, depot to finish or downgrade. So we are downgrading to 8 November, which is ironically the same <laughs> patch. So you can actually downgrade and upgrade if you want. Uh, all right, I think that's it. This depot is, is actually for another DLC, so. I'm not downloading from it anything. All right, you can just, just close the app and now you, you have uh, downgraded successfully and easily. So that's method number one. And before we move to method number two, let me show you a little trick. Let's say uh, next month or next uh, year, you would wa you'd want to downgrade to a previous version. So you can basically just pick any version for, from the list. I'm just gonna pick the first one, click around in Durham and open yes and as you can see we have the login and the password you can just log in here and it's gonna initiate everything this is just uh, a, a bug here it shows the window of the steam guard all right now that's pretty much it i can just close this one <laughs> i don't care all right so that's for one method number one now for method number two um let me go back in, into the folder first we will need depot downloader first so let's go to Tipo, I think Tipo Downloader, that's the one, we go to the releases page, as usual, and we download this one, the first one, the zip, okay, we download this, when you download it, let me show you here, download it and extract it anywhere you want, basically in a folder, doesn't matter, so I have it here, 
and now next step is uh, much easier <laughs> we select any patch we want from the list which is gonna stick to the first one and click download patch so when we click download patch we don't have to allow multiple I think I have a double mouse click issue <laughs> alright so we copy we will copy this uh, batch file and we will put it in the same folder where we extracted the depot downloader okay so here and we can do now we will have to edit this file so we, we're gonna do right click and let me show more uh, it's gonna do edit and if it says yes or or no click yes don't worry it's not gonna execute it's just gonna edit okay so right click edit in the notepad and now within the notepad we have to replace the login and we have to replace the password so let's say I want to replace this login with something so the first thing you want to do let's uh, highlight this this guy here and do control H control H okay control H should, should show you this window the first one is the find and the second one is the replace so we will replace with our login with our actual steam login so it could be for my case this one it's gonna do replace all as you can see it replaced here and here and here the reason why I, I have to use this method like, like that oh sorry I have a space the reason for I have to use the H is because sometimes we, we get patches or versions that, that have many lines in them so we are lucky with this one we only have two lines sometimes we get 10 12 so even 22 sometimes so just be careful uh, do, do not uh, replace manually okay all right now next week we're gonna do the password highlight the password do control H and the other time I made a mistake but by having a space it's not make the same mistake I'm gonna put some password my real pass here just an example and do that all right now you would want to uh, replace the game path so the game path is important to do that go to your steam and find age of empires properties or actually let's do it the fast way manage open local file and for some reason i have to open from here all right you you copy the path here all right you will copy click here copy okay go back to the text file and uh, let's highlight this path do control h again and uh, put your uh, path here click replace all and that's it so we, re we replace the username we replace the password make sure that they are correct and uh, you hit save and that's that now we can just go here run the patch file and uh, it's gonna start uh, downloading but uh, re remember it will ask you to uh, add or input your SteamGuard code and the next time you will use it it will again ask you for a SteamGuard code that's the downside of using the manual met method so uh, keep that in mind uh, all right I think that that's it guys I hope this was helpful let me know if you have any questions any uh, issues and have a good one Bye-bye.